So let's talk WandaVision. Brand new show. Um, I'm going to go through each episode. We're doing the first two episodes because episode three drops tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of go through them. It's a little bit weird, a little bit different, but I can, I can, I think I can see where they're going. I'm, I'm very intrigued. I know a lot of people said, Oh, it's kind of boring. I just didn't get it. I wasn't into it. It's like, you're kind of missing the point though, man. Um, To me at least. But before I delve into these, I wanted to get your quick little opinions on them, man. Like walk me through it. What'd you think? I I think it's brilliant. I mean, the the people that are complaining about it, they need to look at the source for her, for her abilities and his ability. It's the mind gym, you know? Mm -hmm. So of course it's going to be a a more cerebral, not not as obvious journey. Plus she's dealing, you know, with the the, the death of vision. And I think this is, are we talking about what I think about it or or about, I just think it's great, man. It's, it's, it's a new take on things. Um, I mean, it's not like it's a whole two hour movie in, in the first episode. It's only like a little over 30 minutes. Right. So right. you just got to get through it. And it's, and it's a, it's a, it's an homage to some old school TV that I grew up on that I, I love, man. Bewitched, uh, Dick Van Dyke. I mean, it was, it was cool. They did a great job. The, the, the talent they picked was great. Um, mm-hmm. the story, I think the story's amazing. And I think the actors are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Real happy with the script. Um, yeah, man, I, I honestly, I couldn't be happier. They got enough of the color and enough of the teasers, enough of the, if you pay attention, uh, enough Easter eggs in there to really make you realize, okay, some stuff is mm-hmm. going on. Yeah. Now, if you're not aware of things and, you know, sword and other little things, if you're not, if you're not cognizant of that, then, I mean, they make it blatantly obvious when you can, when you can see these symbols, but if you're not in the know, I mean, maybe I could see how you're, if you're expecting the, the standard Americana breakfast, if you will, this is this may not be for you initially, but it'll get there. You just gotta you gotta give it a little bit of time. Yeah, and that's that's what I told my buddy, my buddy who was he was real down on it. And um I was like, dude, you gotta understand it's not gonna the whole show's not gonna be like this. You know, this is just a mm-hmm. this is just a step, you know, this is just um what what's the word I'm looking for? It's just a setup. Like everything is going to start to unravel at some point because, like I said, I think I know these are the hors d'oeuvres, man. Exactly, dude. These are the and hors d'oeuvres. The meal, the meal is not being served yet. This is just right. to kind of excite the palate. You know, you haven't been out in a while. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't been to a Marvel MCU party in a long time, and you've got a couple mm-hmm. of cocktails. They're giving you some little hors d'oeuvres, and it's something new, man. Some it's some tasty new treats, and the meal's coming, and it's and it's going to oh, be yeah. paired nicely with some wonderful wine. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing dining experience. So I look forward yeah. to uh, not rushing through it and just savoring every little flavorful tidbit. So I'm excited. Yeah, and I like that they're coming out with it week by week instead of dumping the whole season all at once. But yeah. I do think that the end of the I, th- I think towards the middle uh, up into the end it's it's gonna get pretty pretty epic um, because I'll go into in a little bit what I think is going on and what I think is gonna happen. But mm-hmm. um, so okay, episode one. It's kind of strange at first. It's all black and white. The whole episode's black and white, aside from a little, yep. you know, two little minor things. But um, I mean, the whole time I'm watching it, you know, it's like in, in a good way. I was just like, dude, what is going on? It is just strange, man. But that's it. Just hooks me, you know. I I, I don't I, I don't know. Like at first, I was like, okay, um, is this all in her head? Is it real? Is it this? Is it that? But as the more I started watching it, man, the more I started kind of cluing in on um, what I think's going on. You know, I think I think Wanda's great. I think Vision's great. It looks like Paul Bettany's having so much fun doing this. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Cool. <laughs> you know, they, they, it's just a good time. And I know you said something about growing up on shows like that. I didn't grow up on shows like that, but I have seen over the years yeah. bits and pieces. So it's cool to kind of look at this world for a little bit. Um, and and you should realize- check out you should check out some old episodes. Just like a couple yeah. of the old Dick Van Dyke shows, at least the intro, and you'll be like, "Oh, wow they they really, they really gave the old tip of the hat, if you will, to some old school, just wonderful uh, TV." Yeah. So, yeah, I neat. think it was great, man. And I, I love, um, I love Catherine Hahn. She plays the neighbor, which I ultimately think she's up to something. Um, I think she. <laughs> Yeah, people are saying Mephisto. I I think that she could be working for Mephisto. I don't think she is Mephisto, yeah. but no, I she's think tied she's, in somehow. Yeah, she's definitely up to something. Um, but the way she plays this 
the way she plays this part, man, I think she's just fantastic. You know, she kind of like overreacts like, oh, look at you. You're just amazing. It's like she does it so well. You know, it's like it was it was it was great. I, I She's I, the I actress. It. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I apologize. No, you're good. I mean, man. She's the actress who was in that comedy about the uh, about the moms, bad moms or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And she I love was, her in. Oh, she was so good. She's in a lot of shit, man. I love her in mm-hmm. Step Brothers too. Um, she's fucking. She's great in Step Brothers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, she's, she's great. She's great. She's, she's crazy, man. But um, yeah, that, the episode one's pretty much you know standard. Um, going through their life. Uh, Visions at work. Um, Wanda's at home. So they're cooking. They're talking about this anniversary or, or something is supposed to happen this night. And then he eventually remembers it's a dinner with his boss, which I thought the dinner was very weird. Um. And then, you know, long story short, he starts choking on his food and Vision has to use his powers to save him. And yep. I thought the dinner scene was was interesting um, because there were certain times throughout the dinner scene where it kind of it kind of segued away from the sitcom stuff. And it the music kicked in, the mm-hmm. camera angles kind of changed. It just kind of felt more real. And it kind of kind of made me wonder, like, is this Wanda kind of coming out of her? trance that she's in or something because the dude starts yeah. choking and it's just weird man and then um, and then the, and then the wife is just like stop yeah Dude, stop yeah you stop and it's just she doesn't yeah. panic she just gets more it's more just more like awkward and awkward and it's it's definitely building on something yeah um, it's it's kind of like robotic in a way yeah like she yeah. was a machine that just wouldn't stop going but i have a theory about that when we start talking about the next episode but um and then of course episode one ends you know, the credits start rolling, the camera kind of pans out and it's like in color. Someone's yep. watching this show on TV and a woman's hands is it's like, what the fuck is going on? So mm-hmm. is this like a fake sitcom? Because it doesn't make sense to what kind of happens in the next episode. But um, it, it's just very intriguing, you know, and going into the next episode, which kind of looks like it was more towards the 60s this time instead of the 50s, because I saw some shades of Bewitched in the opening yeah. And um, some of the stuff they do inside the house. But, uh, you know, in episode two, we meet more of the the, the neighborhood. And um, mm-hmm. what, the one thing that really tipped me off was when she goes outside, there's that toy helicopter in the bushes, yeah. which is in color. And I've been hearing I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I listen to a lot of podcasts. What is this but, YouTube thing you keep speaking of? What is it's some it's some <laughs> website that you can put videos on. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's 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 all right. But um no, a lot of people, I mean I don't watch a lot, but there's there's only a few people that I watch MCU content for because I really feel like they know what's going on. They know the world. Like there's some people that right. yeah, they know about it, but they don't know a lot about it. So, you know, I've seen a lot of theories about this could have been like a real helicopter that fell or crashed into her reality world bubble or mm-hmm. whatever and that's why it's in color. She like didn't put it there because here's what I think is going on in the show. I'm just going to say it now. I think that, okay, well, at first I thought um, this is all created by Wanda, obviously. Like this whole neighborhood, it's all from her mind. She's projecting it. Mm-hmm. She's projecting these people. But then that's what I thought at first. But there's some stuff that was going on in episode two that made me wonder, like, I think all of the people in this are real people. And I think they're under some kind of like trance from her. I think she's got all these people like she's controlling all these people because what really gave it away was the blonde chick. Her name was Dottie, I believe. Yeah, something like like that. Yeah. You know that scene in the middle where they're talking by the radio Mm -hmm. and um, help me, it's it's help me, Rhonda, but it's saying help me, Wanda. Yeah, yeah. It's an actual song, but yeah, they're tweaking it. Yeah, in the, in the blonde chick Dottie, she's talking to her about what she knows about her and Vision. And there's a moment where the radio starts going off and you can see like Wanda start to, it looks like she's losing, she's distracted. And the blonde chick, she's like, who is that? And then she looks at Wanda like, wait, who are you? Mm-hmm. So I think in that moment, that was the real girl coming out like, wait a second, where, where am I? Who are you? And then once the radio transmission stopped, Wanda kind of, you know, got back into her trance, I guess. And then the lady went back to normal. So yeah. I, mean, I think these are all real people. And I think she's got them all under like a, a trance or a spell, like trying to make them a part of her reality that she wants to live. And by the way, um, I don't know if you recognize the dude on the radio. It was Jimmy Woo from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Oh yeah. That was, that was pretty cool. Cause he's in the show. So uh, yeah. But what, what, what I don't get is 
yeah. he was saying, who's doing this to you, Wanda? So it's like, wait, is Wanda not in control of this? Yeah, see, I have a total different take than you do. Yeah, it's just, it's just strange. Like, I think, I, I really think they're real people and they're under a spell. But at the same time, it's like, well, if she's got them under a spell, what does he mean by who's doing this to you, Wanda? Like, is she, I, I just uh-huh. don't, I don't get it right now. So here's, so let me, here's what we could, let me, let me explain Go ahead. my perception. And, Go ahead. and I don't watch a lot of, of the YouTube stuff. So may, maybe, maybe it'll be actually an original idea. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I think, I think that, I don't know where, you know, where in the timeline is this supposed to take place anyway? After Endgame. Okay, cool. So it's current. Yeah, it's, cr- it's supposed um, to be current. I know, I know that she's in a deep emotional state of, of sadness, but yet, you know, joy because they, they finally beat, you know, the, the, the end game was successful, but then, you know, Stark's yeah. dead. Vision, yeah. her love has been destroyed. Um, I think, you know, she, she, it was a, she somehow became vulnerable. And mm-hmm. I think someone is definitely like someone has, someone has got control of her, but not control. They're like more like, like they've, she's, she's imprisoned, if you will, like in this, within this, this uh, yeah. psychic, mental, or magical construct. And I think yeah. that they're pulling all this content, all these characters from past TV shows to build this, to build this, 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 this experience in her, in her mind to keep her like sedated, if you will, because maybe in her childhood, her and her brother, maybe they, they, maybe they did some actual research and maybe these are actual TV shows that they grew up on. So they're trying to find ways to keep her, to keep her uh, like in a, in a, in a coma, if you will, of sorts, mm-hmm. keep her mind under the control. And then she's just, she's such a strong, I mean, the Scarlet Witch is so powerful and she's finding them when it's like, what are they doing to you? And all the little splashes of color and all the little things that veer away from the obvious, just the Dick Van Dyke kind of storyline or the, you know, the, be, or the bewitch. Those are, those are her slowly, but surely. I think she's slowly, but surely breaking out of these points because someone is obviously controlling her and watching her. Right. right. At the end, at the, at the cut, at the, uh, the end, the end credit scene, you know, when there's that person's control board watching, seeing what's going on. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't, it doesn't strike me that, that she is in control, but she's slowly, but surely starting to get there. So like yeah. at the end of, of episode two, where the, the, it all, all the color comes in, right. It's mm-hmm. getting to be more current. So the fact that the, her environment, her made up environment, if you will, if, if you're following my kind of my construct idea, Sure. The fact that the fact that it is in color is one less facet of of the of that con- that constructs pro- projected reality on her. So she's like, "Wait a minute, what's going on? This is this is now it's different." So she's starting to have. I think she's starting to. I think she's starting to break out. You know, and she's going to realize what's going on. Yeah, it's just, it's I, just my thought. No, I, I think you're onto something good here, <clears throat> and I think that if I think we can combine your theory and my theory because, like I said before. Dottie seems like she's being controlled by somebody, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's not Wanda who's controlling Dottie. Maybe everyone mm-hmm. is controlling. Maybe someone is controlling everyone, including Wanda, um, mm-hmm. you know, so there could be that. And I did see, I, I think I saw something in one of the trailers where someone sticks their, like someone in color, like someone who's not Wanda. I, I guess they're on the outside. Someone stuck their hand out and it like, it turns staticky. Like maybe they're touching the bubble that, this neighborhood is inside. So maybe right. it's all being contained in one little thing. Um, you think it's it like, a, like, like, like a physical bubble or in her mind? I think it's more like a physical bubble because the person that had their hand out, it looked like they were real in the real world on a street with like army tanks behind them or so. I can't remember. I'll have to look for it, but it looks real. Then, but then that would imply that everything in that environment is black and white. See, that's what I'm wondering. Like, is it so, really black and white to all of them? Well, I guess so, because Vision, he reacted to it. So I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. And that then, begs the question, too. Like, is this the, this not obviously it's not the real Vision because he's dead. But is it like a projection of Vision that is just so powerful that he seems real? You know, is this the yeah. real Wanda or is it just is she really asleep and this is just all in her head or Mm-hmm. Who the fuck knows, man? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's a it's a it's a total mind fuck, and I love. But it. But that's what I love about it. Like I yeah, have no clue yeah. what's going on. I yeah. love it. And you can sit here and say, "Well, it's the House of M," and yeah. you know you can do all these things. But oh, my computer's freaking out. What the hell's going on? There we go. Um, but I mean, it's yeah, dude. It's yeah. I think, I, you're, I think I'm you're taking to us watch on the next a, one. Yeah, yeah, I think they're taking us on a great adventure. Um, you, you I've know, always I, loved Vision. I'm glad he's not. Well, he, he's he's dead. 
Yeah, yeah, he's he's dead. But he's dead. I'm but, glad he's. But I'm glad the he, character is still back. around doing something. You know, because yeah, he, yeah. as a kid, I loved Vision, so I thought it was cool. Yeah, see, I didn't really know much about Vision until these movies started. You know, mm-hmm. getting up and up and going. But um, I know a lot about Scarlet Witch because I grew up on the X Men and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I you got to wonder is Quicksilver gonna appear somehow in this? Is our oh, man? You know, there could be so much shit because there's a lot of ties to her past too. You said something about that. Like the first commercial in episode one was a toaster by yeah. Stark Industries. Yep. She's got ties to Stark and episode two was the Strucker mm-hmm. watch and Strucker was the guy who experimented on her. Von actually, Strucker, right? Yeah. Eric gave Von her Strucker powers. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Cause she got her powers from the Mind Stone and the, that was in Loki's scepter. So yeah, they're throwing out all these clues, man. And I'm really, I'm really interested to see where this goes. And Paul Bettany said that, like the last three episodes of the series is going to be fucking huge. And he said like the finale is supposed to be a big Avengers type thing. So I'm like, dude, I'm ready, man. I got my popcorn. I'll be ready tomorrow morning to watch this. I mean, shit. I mean, yeah, <laughs> just imagine what it takes to, I mean, some people are saying, Oh, it's the mind stone and alternate reality that has, you know, it's the mind stone that cap took back or just there are, they're trapped in the mind stone. Cause they're part of that. Um, and, may, and maybe since they're from the, the Mind Stone there, you know, they they don't they have they maybe they're a part of every timeline that the Mind yeah. Stone is in. I don't know. Maybe See, I think th- it's I think it's real time. I think it's real. I think this real after Endgame because like I said, Jimmy Woo's supposed to be in the show. Monica Rambeau is supposed to be in the show. Yeah. Darcy from Thor, Natalie Portman's friend. She's in the show. So I yeah, feel like so you're cheating, man. Look, look, look at look at the story. We're talking about the story, right? Now. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I know that. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I think to some degree it's i just don't think it's going to be like in some people said maybe it's all inside the soul world or, like, i don't i don't think i don't think they're going to do all that man i think it's uh they're not in voramir or whatever yeah i, I, I think yeah. you're right i mean so it sounds like we, we have some overlap in our in our thoughts but but uh-huh. you're representing one side and i'm representing another in that you know you think that i think she's being i think she's being pacified right yeah i do too i think i think, I think someone's con- oh oh you changed your mind well, you, you know, I kind of, that's what I was saying earlier, like, I kind of felt like she was controlling the people at first, but then, you know, but then I started thinking, like, when, especially when you started talking, I kind of started to see her from that side of the coin, like, shit, when Dottie, because when Dottie looks at her and says, who are you, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, well, fuck, she's, look, she looks like she's been under a spell, and, and maybe yeah. Wanda's not controlling her, maybe Wanda's being controlled, too, with everybody, and I think, I think Catherine Hahn Agnes has something to do with it because she keeps talking about her husband Ralph, and she made that devil comment. And you know, we all know devil is Mephisto in the yeah. uh, comic. Yeah. So I don't know, man. And, and obviously, this is going to tie. Kevin Feige said this is going to tie into Doctor Strange too. Yes, the multiverse of madness. And I just think that I don't know. I think shit's going to get weird, man. It is. It is. <laughs> and so, what are your thoughts on? Are we still talking? Are, you, are we talking about both episodes now? I assume, right? Safe to talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you think about the beekeeper guy at the end? You know, how does how does that tie into your to your to your posture you had at the beginning of our of our conversation? See, and and that's kind of what gave me the idea that she was controlling it because she sees him and she says no and just rewinds it and I'm like, wait, what? So is she in control somehow? She's so powerful, dude. She's fine. She's slowly but surely getting getting in more and more and more control. Yeah. But then yeah. again, how do you how do you explain how do you explain the, the pregnancy? I mean, she always wanted to have kids, and and it was yeah, the House of I mean, M where she had where she where she manifests in having two twins. Is that House I of M? So. I forget where there's another yeah, story. I think it is. I think it is I'm House of M. Yeah. And then there's the Vision line too, which is different. But um, which one? well, there's a Vision. Vision himself has a separate. Where he makes his oh, own family. Oh, I thought you meant like he spoke a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, the no, no, yeah. No, 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 yeah. yeah. I got you. I got you. Um, I, I, I don't think they're really embracing that that part, though. But, I mean, she is going to have... Yeah. And I think it's going to be twins. Oh, I do, I too. Think, yeah. I think it's going to be twins. And I think we'll probably... They'll be out at the end of episode four, I would imagine. Yeah. So, I think I, it's going to be... I think it's going to be very, very quick. Yeah, but as far as the beekeeper, I, I, I don't know, man. It looks like it's somebody who's from the real world. Like, he's crawling into their... Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what makes me think like this reality, this this fake neighborhood is is real. Like it's it's it, it's like it's been put in a real place where nobody can get in, but like certain people. And you know what was also weird, man, was when she was looking at the helicopter and the the mailman walked by and he had this mm-hmm. strange interaction with Agnes. And I'm just like, yeah, she's checking out his ass. Yeah, she's, she's all like, like what's up? 
yeah, like what is going on? Like, who is this dude? Is he did he accidentally is he a, is he a member of Sword? Because we know Sword's supposed to have a big part in this. Like, is he a Sword member who's because it was after the helicopter? Maybe he was trying to get there to get the helicopter, and he was posing as a mailman. Like, I don't I don't know what's going on. He may have been there. Yeah, outside. I think he may be. If you want to get really crazy with it, he may be a member of Sword. He may be I trying think. to get a message to Wanda to help her yeah, out. Yeah, there's and that. Then Agnes, and Agnes, and you notice Agnes was there as a deterrent and didn't let him get in to talk to Wanda. Yeah, so she gave. He kept, he, he kept on walking. He was yeah, not she, able to deliver the mail or the or the message, if you will. Yeah, she gave him some looks, and uh, mm-hmm. I'll have to rewatch it again. But she, she there was, <laughs> yeah, there's there's something there, man. Something's up with her. Um, yeah, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if she's working working for. Mm-hmm. A higher power, maybe. Well, because I mean, sword, sword is it, are the good guys, right? Yeah, they're yeah. like the the galactic version of of Shield. So, um, and Scarlet Witch has such a signature on the power levels in the Marvel universe <coughs> that you know they definitely want to help her out. So I want to yeah. be a part of that, and it's just a matter of I'm not familiar who the who the nemesis, if you will, of Sword is. I think Mephisto's out there for sure, mm-hmm. um, but. Yeah, dude, it's going to get yeah, nuts. It would it's be a cool nuts. way to bring him in since obviously Mephisto had a huge part in the Infinity Gauntlet storyline. They didn't do that for the movies. So it would be cool to bring him in this way, you know, because I was when Infinity War was first getting off the ground, I was kind of wondering, like, are they going to bring Lady Death and or Mephisto in this? And they ultimately didn't use either one of them. So, yeah, it, it'd be cool to see him bring him in this way if that's the route they're going. But as far as the but- beekeeper. I think he's a sword member too, honestly. He is, well, yeah, and look on the back of his jacket. There's a sword on the back of his jumpsuit. There's the sword emblem. Yeah, but so, what's he doing there? Like, what was he crawling out of the sewer for? Maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe. Um, and when he, when he, and when he crawled out, <clears throat> pardon me, yeah. a little weird thing about throwing. What's that look that he gave? He <clears throat> turned his head real fast. And when he crawled out, there was, at it, 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 first it was black and white. When he crawled out, it became color, right? Right. Is that right? right. I so, so I associate anywhere where there's color is her having a, a potential breakthrough moment and anywhere where there's more color, she has more control. She's getting stronger. She's getting more aware. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's my interpretation. So that's kind of using that as a, as a scale, if you will. Right. Um, but now there is a beekeeper. I forget his actual name, but there is a, a beekeeper villain in the old school MCU, but I don't think there's any correlation with that, mm. but perhaps maybe who knows, man, maybe, maybe, maybe it is a physical, yeah area or, or or it's just it's just a metaphor for some dude doing maintenance but he's in a beekeeper suit and there's like all these insects fuck man i don't i don't i don't it's, know it's just i'm it's talking just, out of my ass right now i don't know it's just crazy man <clears throat> you know but yeah i don't know i'm ready to watch episode three i hope we get a lot more clues and a little more sense of what's going on um i mean i don't watch them again i mean i'm going to tonight. i'm going to tonight and tomorrow i'm gonna watch the first two um i i really don't think things are going to really start popping off until episode maybe four or five. Um, but we'll probably get a lot of uh, uh, goodies in this one, you know, that we can nitpick. Mm-hmm. So yeah. but at the end of the day, dude, it's, it's so fucking cool to have new Marvel content to theorize and talk about. It's been yeah. too long. It's been way it, too it long. It has. And I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's not the obvious, the old, uh, you know, just, wow them with 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 pretty graphics and pretty colors there's i think there's a lot of depth to this story yeah and i and i hope i hope they stay true to it i know it's not going to stay the same the whole the whole time but i hope they don't i hope the story doesn't change i hope it doesn't change gears too fast i mean there's how many how many episodes there's nine nine apparently yeah so So that's that's a good amount you can you can tell a lot of work to do still yeah but they're only like 30 35 minutes well i think the i think the later ones are supposed to be longer they said Oh, I hope so. Because so. I noticed the first episode was like 20, 20 minutes. The second one was like 30. So maybe yeah. they'll get a little bit longer. I hope, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, I, I'm, I'm hyped for episode three. I'm hyped for the rest of the season. Uh, it's it's cool that every Friday we'll get something new from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So it's crazy, man. I can't remember the last time we theorized something. It's probably Game of Thrones or Endgame oh. two years yeah, ago yeah. or a year and a half ago. I, I love it, man, because they're paying homage to the old school TV, but they're also poking fun at it. Like, you know, when Vision's at work and he's like, what is it we do here? And he's like, well, we computate. We computate. And he's like, what is it we do? What, what, <laughs> yeah, well, what is yeah. it? Because like in the, on all the old school TV shows, they never, they, 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 it's, they take so much for granted. You know, there's like, 
these guys are sitting at a desk in an office and they're just, or there's, you know, back there. Cause it was a, you know, feminism wasn't around and all that. And so it was only women that were the typewriters just masked out pumping all these papers. You know, like, right. what the hell do these people do here? You know, is there, right. and it's just, I, I think it's funny how they're kind of, kind of having some fun with it. So. Yeah, it was, it was cool to see, but I was going to say, I forgot to say, if you notice between Wanda and vision, there has been no, absolutely no reference to previous MCU movies or events or anything. Like there's been hmm. no references to anything in, that had happened in infinity war. They haven't referenced yeah, Vision's right. been killed. They haven't referenced Quicksilver, any of the other no. Avengers. So it's like, I think that then the, that, I think that further strengthens. My, I think my, my, my posture on what's going on. I think because yeah, those are big triggers for her especially family wise with Quicksilver. And I mean, obviously Avengers infinity War and end game where shit, man, where vision dies twice. Yeah, right. I mean, sh- they definitely want to keep, keep those thoughts out of her head. Yeah. Cause that would just, I think, you know, that would just shoot burst out of the bubble even that much faster. So now the we're thinking they might bubble. have her, they might have her mind, you know, blocking certain memories. Yeah. I, I think, I think someone's definitely controlling her at the moment. Yeah, because it makes sense because at the the last time we saw her in Endgame, she was talking to Hawkeye at, on the little bank of the river and she's just real, you know, mm-hmm. she's just real somber. And then now all of a sudden she's happy go lucky living a perfect life with Vision. It's like yeah, something's going on with that like I mean, maybe they... check check this out. Maybe maybe she had like a a planet Hulk type situation where she fucking just lost it. Because she is super fucking powerful, and all yeah. the Avengers had to get together, and maybe this has got like maybe this is strange, and maybe Professor X is part of this. Maybe they're going to choose the X with someone else, where they're all <laughs> trying to keep her. You know, they're trying to keep everybody safe because she is so angry and she's just so. She's fucking powerful, dude. Yeah, she, she she's way she more is. powerful than she is in the MCU. Trust me. And I, I hope we and get to see like her full power at some point. Yeah. Yeah, and they, she's supposed to have a big part in Doctor Strange too. And I heard, yeah. uh, I've heard some theories that Wanda could probably even end up being like freaked out in this series once she knows what's going on to the point she snaps and becomes like a bad guy at some point. You know, just because she's who knows. Some exactly. people said she might be bad in Doctor Strange too for a while. I mean, she may have been bad for a while now, and this is how yeah. they're trying to deal with it. You know, maybe, maybe. Man, yeah, right, I mean, man. who knows, brother? We, that's the that's the cool part. It's not they're not yep. they're not telegraphing anything, yeah. and that's what's so cool about it. That's what I yeah. love about it. I can't wait to see where it goes. But one more thing, if you notice the Monica Rambeau grown up, obviously she was a kid, and we saw her in Captain Marvel. Um, mm-hmm. Now she's grown up. She's in this show, but she's in the second episode as a character named Geraldine. Mm-hmm. Is she a plant there? Is she using a fake name? Because I think later in the season she really she appears as Monica, but I guess now is she is she being controlled know. too? Like I don't know what's going on with her either. She could be part of Sword, dude. She could be a plant That's, trying to I, I, I think trying to get is. in there and they're trying to get I mean, who knows? It could be a very delicate situation to where you just can't like take someone out of yeah. a cage. You know, maybe they yeah. have to slowly Maybe have to maybe you know imagine like Scarlet Witch is like a, a just a, a a big chunk of clay and they have to mold her back into her the person she used to be or sp- is supposed to be. Otherwise, yeah. if you do it too soon, maybe she'll crack. I don't know. I mean, it's it's apparently maybe it's very delicate. I do want to know who was at that control. Who was at the control board? Yeah, me too. Me too. And and I forgot to mention one more thing. I keep saying one more thing, but if you notice in the first episode after the dude gets choked and saved from Vision, yeah, they just get up and walk out like nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, yeah, so it's, it's very, it's very awkward. It's not, yeah, it's like, not real. Bro, you just it's, almost died. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, you're just, I, I, I don't know. It was strange to me. Yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> and 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 they did go a little overboard. Uh, to, to to, I mean, it's not all rah 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 for me. There are a couple things I didn't like. I don't like about it. Um, mm-hmm. I think they're maybe they're maybe they're paying homage to some old school TV, but even some of the old school TV that wasn't as ridiculous as some of the things that they were doing prior to the, prior to the dinner. And I mean, it was, yeah. it was fun, 
Yeah. But I'm glad they didn't stick on it too much because it was like, yeah. okay, we get it. We get it. It's it's wacky zany. Let's let's yeah. so I can let's let's turn the page. So I think the pacing's good. I'm excited about it. I think it's twins. I think they're gonna she's gonna have twins, I think. Um, just because the House of Him storyline. So um yeah. and they showed, you know, the toaster had two pieces of toast and mm-hmm. I don't know. Now what do you think about all the, the imagery of sword? Because I'm not I don't know what sword's colors are, but I definitely think the, that that's that it was the gold and the red was of Iron Man. I think you're paying homage to Iron Man in a way and how he was the first Avenger. I think that that's part of that. I don't know. What do you think about the color choices or just because red's real dramatic? I mean, what do you think? No, I thought I, had, I thought I, I didn't as big of an MCU fan as I am. I didn't really put together that red and gold. Oh shit. That, is that Iron Man? Like I, I didn't really think about that. I didn't notice that until you just said that um, the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of strange that you said that now. Maybe it's made by Stark Industries. I don't know. I, I, and I'm also kind of curious how and when, and maybe we'll get some information down the road, how and when Sword started. When did they come around? You know, who's running Sword? How <laughs> you long said, have they? Have you looked just, up Sword at all? I don't it'll know blow, too much about it. It'll blow your mind, um, dude. Yeah, I heard they cha- they're they changing something for the MCU. I heard like the W is going to stand for something different in the, sh- in the, in the MCU than it does in the, mo- in the comics. I heard something about that, but I still yeah. got to do a little bit of research on sword, but um, yeah, this, this yeah. show has definitely made me look into the sword aspect. Yeah. Look up but, sword. Uh, look up the characters, man. Cause if you, if you thought guardians of the galaxy was, was a, was a, was a change swords. <laughs> fucking change, dude. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I didn't know shit about guardians really before. I didn't either. And I loved the it. movie came out, you know, and it's cool because now I got to go back and do all this guardians research read a lot of the comics and shit, read some of the storylines. Mm. It's like, damn, how did I miss all this? You know? So yeah, I definitely need to do some sword research, but um, I think we'll, we'll get obviously a shit ton more sword as the season goes on. Yeah. Um. So yeah, man, I, I, I think sword could be the way that they eventually get in uh, silver surfer <laughs> down the Dude, line. Like, every time you start talking about X-Men and shit, it's like, I just can't even, <laughs> I can't even fathom the day that they start bringing those motherfuckers. Silver Surfer's not X-Men, bitch. He's Fantastic Four universe. Come on. I meant to say, like, when you start talking about X-Men and Fantastic <laughs> yeah, Four. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Just. We'll see. Fucking wild. <laughs> we'll yeah, see. Dude. We'll see. Yeah. Just do it right. That's all I care about. Just do it right. Please do it right. But I got a lot of faith in Feige. You know, they yeah. got my full trust, you know, so. Yeah, I agree. Just please cast John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. That's all I want. I don't care who you get for the thing and human torch, but that's all I want to see is John and Emily as yeah. Reed and Sue. That's I agree. I agree. Perfect. But all right, brother. Um, I definitely want to talk some more about this with you next week after episode yeah, three, maybe, maybe sure. Saturday or Sunday. We'll talk, but um, yeah, dude, I'm hyped. Yeah. I'm, I'm hyped. like, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to watch it again, but I've already watched them both twice. <coughs> Sorry about my yeah. cough. And then after talking to you, now it makes me want to kind of like watch it again, just kind of like, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe, maybe Zach's got a point. And I'll look a little closer. I'll freeze some of the frames and look at the, you know, maybe it is a yeah. Stark helicopter. Maybe it's a, but they, they didn't make toys, but maybe it's a Stark model. Maybe, but they did make military stuff. So maybe, yeah. Who knows? Maybe that was a. Well, see, that's what I said before. Like someone had made a theory that it it might have been a real helicopter but i guess somehow it shrunk down into a toy when it came into that reality who knows i i, I don't know but that kind of would be a little more logical to me as opposed to a toy maybe it was a spy toy or drone or something that someone was flying in there to spy on her i who knows yeah so the reason many, so the many reason, op- options yeah i don't think it's a real helicopter because if it's based upon if it's a during an accurate timeline those those no one flies those helicopters anymore um but maybe yeah. maybe that's how they Maybe they had to date it to fit into the unit to this, to her Maybe. little, you know, her little <laughs> mental prison cell or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 cool. <laughs> and well, I think cool. you know what? I'm kind of liking that some people aren't happy. Me too. Me you too. can't make everybody happy, and it's just showing. You know what? And you know me, dude. I, I if I'm not happy, I'll fucking say I'm not happy. I, I, I'm oh, yeah, really I loving know. this show, and. I and I, I, I'm getting kind of a little semi hard on because some people aren't liking it. So maybe that's what I'm saying, know. dude. And I, and I told my buddy, dude, I told him, I said, cause he's the one that told me he was, he was kind of bored. He didn't really care for it. And I was like, all right, 
why don't you talk to me after episode six, seven, eight, nine, and then you know, then we'll talk. All these people mm-hmm. that hate it are going to be amazed by the time this series is over. Like, whoa, dude, that was crazy. It's like I fucking told you, man. You, it's like Game of Thrones. The first season of Game of Thrones, you got the first few episodes of Game of Thrones are a little bit boring, but you just <gasps> have to stick through it. I'm not out. Boring, <laughs> not boring to me. Yeah, I, I love slow paced. It. It's hard to get into. Like I had a hard time getting into it the first few episodes, but it's like Dexter as well. Some of these shows, you just you got to stay committed, man. It gets better. It's called development, you know. Except but, season seven and eight of Game of Thrones, but it it gets better. Yeah, and, and, and then there, it just fizzles out. And 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 you know, and in their defense, when you say, "Well, it takes character development," they're like, "Well, we have we already know who Scarlet Witch is. We already know who Vision is. We already know yeah. them. They, we know what's going on." Well, you don't know them in this in in this environment. So exactly. Exactly. Um, that's the fresh part. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm curious. So who, who do you think the big reveal is going to be by the end of the season? You thinking Dr. Strange? I don't know, man. Uh, are you talking like a, a returning Avenger or like the big, I'm bad, talking or? like any, any, I'm talking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's good and bad. Who do you think the, the baddie and the goodies are going to be? I think if me based on it now, and I'll reassess it after each episode, but as Fair of enough. right now, I, I see Mephisto being the main bad and I see Agatha Agnes agree. being like his right hand woman or whatever. Cause they're saying she could be based on Agatha Harkness. She's a witch from the comics that mm-hmm. she, she has a lot of history with Scarlet witch. She kind of influences yep. her to have kids. I think that could be, I agree. I think that could be her. Um, and then as far as other characters, I could see whether it be like a flashback or a dream sequence or a vision, I could see Quicksilver popping up somewhere. Um, I never thought about especially, Dr. Strange, man. Yeah, especially if she's manifesting vision. If she's the one manifesting vision, then she could certainly manifest Quicksilver. Yeah. So yeah. or anybody else for that matter. I, I never I never thought about Strange, man. That's a good point. I could see him popping up somehow. Uh maybe maybe she goes batshit crazy buddy in the series and he shows up to try to like see what the fuck's going on. Like I don't know. I could see him showing up somewhere though. That'd yeah, I, I mean I, I could totally see like in like a cutscene, maybe episode seven or eight. Where, you know, it's like it's it zooms out in color and it just it shows like you see like you know she's on she's on a table in slow motion and then there's just this protective field around her then you just see strange kind of hovering over her, you know. Yeah. And people would be like, "What the fuck?" You know. Yeah. yeah. So and but they have to they have to zoom in on her because then that would imply that strange is controlling her. But they have to, maybe they zoomed in on her and she was like, you know, yeah. and, and obvious distraught. Maybe so strange is trying to help. Obviously, strange would be trying to help, but. At the end of yeah. the day, Strange will do what's best for the universe, not for Scarlet. Right. So, uh, we all know he'll do what he ha- we all know he'll do what he can because he gave up the fucking time stone, you yeah. know. So it's 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 crazy, but yeah, I do think, <laughs> I do think that um, I do think we'll see some MCU. Uh, I, I do think we'll see some other Avengers in this because, like I said earlier, Paul Bettany had made a comment somewhere that apparently the finale is supposed to be like an Avengers type thing. So it's like, yeah. uh okay well i mean well, as far as like yeah as far as the avengers goes or who if something is controlling her so it's gonna uh-huh. be powerful or if she's manifesting this and in such a way to where it's causing maybe maybe there's a maybe there's a cost for her manifestations maybe for her to create this world it's actually destroying the, the reality based upon her wanting to be a family with vision making it you know oh this is my world I, i'm gonna make it happen and so she's doing all these things, but her maybe her hex abilities are hey, everything has a cost, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe there's a balance being in the play here and it's it's fucking everything else up because she's trying to get her man back or have her family, you know? So I'm thinking on on that level, who who could make a a realistic impact? Well, I can't use realistic in the comic book terms, but who who, who could make a comparable impact in, in a in an arc like that? And to me, the only Avenger that could do that would be strange. That's I mean, the only Hulk, one I Hulk see. Hulk can't come bashing in, and no. Thor's not. This is not Thor's realm at all. Yeah, the Guardians and Thor—they're off. Spider, Spidey. I don't see this is Spidey any thing. connection. No, uh, and it's not Hulk, the no. realm. It's it's, it's, it's it, yeah. this, this 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 just screams Doctor Strange to me. It, it does. I don't really see any other Avenger. Um, yeah, Falcon, Winter Soldier—they're doing their own thing. Uh, Ant Man's doing his own thing. I don't. Those guys Hawkeye, wouldn't be able to do shit. Hawkeye's probably doing. His, <laughs> Scarlet could take all those fuckers out. So that's what I'm saying. So yeah, I think you're right. It could be. I could maybe. It's clearly a strange thing, but I don't really see any other anyone else. You know, and but, if, hey, 
I will say and this. I, if yep. Strange does show up, they've done a damn good job of keeping his involvement secret. I, 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 think I, I give him I think props they're to pretty that, good dude. at that. I think they're pretty dude, good about that. If Mandalorian can keep Luke a secret, um, mm-hmm. I, I think this could keep Benedict Cumberbatch a secret. So Yeah. And especially if, if Mephisto is the baddie. Yeah. I and mean who's gonna play him? Well, that's crazy. Who, who out of the Avengers could, could could fuck with Mephisto other than Strange? That's what I'm saying. Like, are so, they get a big name actor to play him? Or is it just going to be a CGI? Like, so many options, dude. I I, I have oh, no clue. Well, I mean, they, Mephisto can take many shapes, so he can That's take right, many yeah. other forms. So, I mean, they could maybe the true reveal, the true Mephisto, will be another actor down the line. Who knows? This could develop into maybe this series could could spawn another another film. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows, man? It's crazy, dude. So it is, but I, I love living on who knows right now because it finally, for the first time in like a year and a half, it finally gives me like, oh, I don't know what to expect. Like we mm-hmm. have something new to think about. This yeah. is new. It's yeah. like kind of like it kind of feels like the old days where we have something to look forward to. It's it's kind of like a little bit sense of normalcy in a way, yeah. you know. So I'm into it, man. So I'm too, and, and I'm glad that they only use I'm glad that, that they don't stick to canon. I'm glad that they, because then we would know what's going to happen, you know. Right. They, they right. use it as a, they use it as a reference point, which is great, which gives us some kind of some fun when we're playing detective, you know. Yep. But yep. I'm glad they don't. I'm glad they don't stick to the canon, like you know, with with the whole end game, with the whole Infinity War. I'm glad they didn't bring in the Lady Death because yeah, because because yeah. in there it was all about love. How can I impress Lady Death? Because I want her to be mine. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And I yeah. and I thought I thought Thanos's arc was much more impressive. And honestly, more realistic and and just this by fashion. himself. Yeah, yeah, just trying to just just you know, there's yeah. not there's only so much of this and there's so many of these. So we got to, in order for the universe to to carry on, we got to take half of it away. You know. Yeah. So it made more sense than him just being like, "Oh, I want this dead chick to love me. I'm trying to impress her." You know. <laughs> I I think that's I think they thought that was the same weak. thing, and that's probably why they didn't do it. So it it was for the best. But um. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right, bro. Let's get off here. Um, I'll I'll, I'll uh we'll do this again next week for episode three. I'd, I'd love I'm to, bro. To it. I'd yeah. love to. And uh, shit, man, I'm gonna watch them again tonight. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the first two probably tonight or tomorrow morning. So, because it's Thursday night right now at the time we're recording this, so it, it drops. That's what I hate, man. It drops at two a.m. here, mm-hmm. midnight in California. It's like, why can't you just drop it at midnight Eastern time? Is what like, it is, man. I'm not up at two a.m. to watch this <laughs> shit, so I gotta wait till tomorrow. But hey, whatever. It's cool. Me too. I'm looking I mean, forward I'm- to it. I watch it on Plex, so I don't even watch it on Disney Plus. I got it to my buddy puts it on his Plex account, so I can watch it. So, oh really? I, I got to wait a day and a half, so I like stay off social media. Like people were oh, preaching about sucks. it, and I was like, and I was like, oh, don't look at anything. I may have to break down and buy Disney Plus again. Just do it. It's I love Disney Plus. You got all your Marvel films there. You got all the Star Wars films there. Um, I know. I got, I got all that shit on my on the Plex account though. Oh well, so, I guess you're fine then. But but it takes okay, a while to get I won't the text- new shit on there. Okay, well, I won't text you right after I watch it then. Um, you can text me. Just You can just be like, oh, shit, but don't say anything yeah. else. Like, bro, Strange just showed up. Holy shit. No, nah, it's too soon for Strange. Too soon. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying like a bombshell spoiler. But as far as, that, though. as far as other colors coming through, because like red, I mean, blood is red. Well, I think the next episode color. is going to be all color. I don't think it's going to go back to black and white. Agreed. Agreed. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. It is. All right, man. We'll talk about it, dude. All right, brother. This has been fun, bro. We'll uh, always a pleasure, I'll, Zach. Yeah, I'll just talk about it. We'll do the whole season, man. You know, because I I'm intrigued now, and I think we're on to something. So, you know, it, fuck it. I'm, get, I'm getting back. I'm getting back on Disney Plus today. Fuck you. There you go, dude. I'm telling you, I got to do it. I'm going to watch it tonight. Too. They have all cool behind the scenes shit too. Deleted scenes. It's it's badass. I know. It's I'll badass. get it. I'm getting it now. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I'll watch yeah. it tonight and we can uh and we can touch base. Cool. All right, y'all. All right, brother. We all see y'all next week. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown Podcast.